Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, Madame DeVoe. Thank you so much for tuning in and for allowing me to be a part of your unique and wondrous experience today. So I'm going to shuffle you guys a crowner from my Romance Angel Oracle deck. Let's see what's in store for my Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love this month. Soulmate, okay. Beautiful energy. Yes, this is your soulmate. So I feel like some of you are dealing with an individual who you feel is your soulmate. It could be a friend, it could be a family member, it could be a lover. Um, but you're definitely connected with this person on a soul level, on a spiritual level. You could read this person's mind, you feel like they read your mind, maybe you finish each other's sentences, you know what I mean? You just go so well with this person um, and I feel like you don't even really have to try. Like the relationship just works. This relationship makes you feel very free, um, very open, very optimistic. This may be a very new relationship for some of you because I have the full card here. So I think that some of you have just recently started this relationship. You just recently embarked on this relationship. Um, but this person makes you very happy and I think you connect very easily with them. You're very optimistic about this. Yeah, you're feeling fulfilled, you're feeling whole, you're feeling complete. I think there's a lot of open communication. And I think that you and this person are both very honest, is what I'm seeing. So, it's that, it's that kind of situation where there's, there's just this sense of transparency. You know what I mean? Everybody's on the same page, you both know what you both want, and you're giving that to one another. Because the King of Swords doesn't have time to play games. You know, he doesn't have time to mess around. So I feel like that's kind of your mentality this month. It's like, you're not trying to play games and neither is this person. Like, you both just want to be there for each other and, you know, get the most that you can out of this relationship, out of this connection with one another. You could be dealing with an air sign or an earth sign. But let's see the heart of your reading. Codependency. Okay, so you may spend a lot of time with this individual. Maybe you feel like you can't leave them. Yeah, some of you get very depressed when you leave this person. And I do feel like this is you because I do have judgment here. Like some of you get really sad when this person's not around. I feel like you really do enjoy being around this person. I think some of you are, are letting go of something this month. Maybe a, a past relationship or something of that nature. Maybe you're letting go of an old soulmate. I think some of you some of you guys have someone new around, like you've already started a new relationship, um, but I feel like you're still very attached to an old relationship or an old connection or an old situation here. Yeah, some of you are very stuck. Yeah, some of you are stuck on an ending, a betrayal. Um, some of you may be feeling very betrayed right now in your life. Maybe there was a soulmate who betrayed you. But there was definitely an ending in a situation. You went cold, you cut this cold turkey. That's what I'm seeing, Sag. And I feel like right now you're at a crossroads. Maybe you're feeling a little guarded towards this individual, this new person. Um, or maybe this person is feeling very guarded towards you. If you're an, um, a Sag with air in your chart, I do pick up that this is you who's feeling very guarded towards somebody in your life. The, you're very cold towards this person. But this person can see right through you is something that I'm seeing. Um, there's just, like I said, there's that transparency. Like they know what's going on even though you're not speaking, you're not talking about it. because there is that soul connection that you have with someone. If you recently walked away from a relationship, Sag, I do see you walking into happiness. You could be walking into a new relationship that makes you much, much happier. But it says addictions are affecting your romantic life. So there could be somebody that you're dealing with who has an addiction, or maybe you yourself are struggling with an addiction. Um, I do sense that you are on the path to healing. 
Some of you are gonna be walking away from an addiction this month. You're gonna be cutting something cold turkey, like I said. Cutting something cold turkey this month. And I think you walk into you walk into the sun card, which is healing, happiness, positivity, abundance. I think something is growing here. There's a relationship that you have with an individual that's growing and it's beautiful. Beautiful, that's what I'm seeing. Lots of fulfillment, um, lots of positivity, lots of growth on both ends. I feel like you and this person really nurture one another. That's something that I'm picking up. And there's just this chemistry, this undeniable chemistry. I feel like somebody's a bit indecisive though. If you're dealing with an earth sign, this could be the earth sign who's very indecisive about this situation. Um, somebody's even thinking about running away. But I sense that some of you are really going to be releasing something this month. Releasing something that you've been going back and forth on. It's kind of like, oh my gosh, this brings me so much confusion. This brings me so much um, chaos in my own mind. So I'm going to let it go. I'm seeing somebody who's trying to really balance work life and private life. Their life outside of work. I also see something very unexpected coming in for you, Sagittarius. I feel like somebody may just come up on you when you have your hands full. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. There may be an unexpected person that comes out of the blue. Could be a Leo. And you've already got your hands full with other things. But like I said, I see you walking away from something. There was some kind of attachment here. Um, maybe you've been wanting to leave somebody for a very long time, or maybe you had been wanting to leave somebody or a relationship or whatever for a while. Um, I do see you walking away from that situation in the month of April. Some of you had been going back and forth on it for a long time. Maybe for the past two months you've been kind of wondering. Um, you know, do I really want this? Should I leave? Should I stay? Um, should I let this go? And I do sense that you're going to be letting it go in the month of April. Something that you're very tied down to. It's like, it's, it's like an addiction. Like that's kind of what I'm picking up. So it may be another person that you may literally feel like you're addicted to. Like there's a difference between unconditional love and codependency. Codependency comes from a place of fear and of lack, where love comes from a place of fulfillment and understanding and happiness. Um, so some of you haven't left this person because of fear. Like you're afraid or you, you haven't left this situation behind, whether it's a memory or whether it's a person or a relationship or whatever. Um, you stay in this situation or you stay with this memory or whatever because you're afraid, or someone's afraid here to let something go. Maybe they're afraid that they're not gonna be happy, um, or they're afraid that, you know, they're not gonna find somebody like this person, or whatever, right? Um, that's where the codependency comes in. Somebody is staying in a situation that makes them feel very overwhelmed, very overwhelmed, um, because of codependency, because of an addiction. It's like an attachment that keeps you in this situation. But I do see you breaking free of any attachments. You're taking that sword this month and you're just, you're severing things. You're severing what no longer serves you. Um, cords, relationships, ways of being, all of that stuff that doesn't serve you. And because of that, you're finding happiness. You end on the sun card. So the end of this month will be experiencing happiness, joy, prosperity, positivity. But it happens when you walk away from something, when you decide to leave something in the past, some kind of addiction, some kind of codependent behavior. Or maybe you're gonna be leaving a codependent person behind. You know, maybe there's somebody in your life who you've got your hands full with them because they just can't get enough of you. You know what I mean? Um, and maybe you're trying to find space and you're trying to find time and you're trying to create that distance. 
um, but it's hard. So I think that some of you are really going to be creating that distance this month. But there's like a sense of patience here. I'm picking up a, a sense of patience in a situation. Like some of you are, are really using your logical mind this month in your relationships and maybe something is moving quite slow. Maybe there's a, a work relationship that you have with somebody um, or maybe there's just a, a person that you're living with or maybe you're trying to move in with somebody. Maybe you're saving up the funds, working two jobs, whatever, to try and move in with somebody. Um, I, I do pick up that things are moving slowly, but they are moving for sure. So some of you may be moving in with a lover very soon. Yeah, I do pick up that some of you guys are going to find new love this month. Then you have free yourself. So once you walk away and free yourself from one situation, you walk right into another. So I'm picking up, Sag, that some of you are walking right out of one relationship and into another. One that makes you a lot happier. There's a new love here, um, especially towards the end of the month. That's what I'm picking up. Towards the end of the month, you may see like a new person pop up and you may be kind of going back and forth between these two people. But I do pick up that you're going to go into the new love. It could be with a, a Leo, like I said. But just somebody who's very open-hearted. Um, they're, they're very loving, very honest. They have a lot of integrity. That's what I'm seeing. There's going to be a new person, Sag, that stirs your romantic feelings. But don't come off very guarded to this person. Like, be open. Allow yourself to shine. That's the advice, is to allow yourself to shine to this individual. Yeah, some of you are walking right out of a relationship. A relationship that kind of just has you on your toes. Like, you're, you're very overwhelmed. I think there's a lot going on in this situation. And I think it's a lot for you to handle. You know what I mean? Something or someone is a lot for you to handle. So you're walking away from this situation and you're going to go to another situation that makes you a lot happier. Because your feelings have changed. You've grown cold in a situation. Or someone's grown cold in a situation. They're guarding up. They're not opening up. And I think that something feels a little overwhelming in it, and it needs to be let go. That's what I'm seeing. But that is what I'm seeing here, Sagittarius. If you'd like to book a personal reading, feel free to DM me or email me. All of my information will be in the description box below. And check out my other videos, guys. I have vlogs, I have yoga videos, I have other tarot readings. Hit that like button if this resonated with you. Leave a comment, let me know how it resonated with you, and subscribe. I will see you later, guys. Take care and have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye-bye.